it's pretty sick. <laughs> this is what it's like to live in the future. Hey guys, a word of advice, <laughs> get yourself a rich best friend. How about that? Merry Christmas, almost, in a few days. But this is not my Christmas video. No, I'm gonna post another video in a few days, a little Christmas challenge with my girlfriend. So if you want like a short, fun video, just wait a few days for that. This is a long, fun video. It's also educational. So if you wanna practice your English, this is the video for you. It's just a little bit long, but it's worth it. A few weeks ago, I was house sitting for my friend Robert while he was out of town traveling. And while I was at his house, I realized, wow, this is beautiful. And it's very different from the houses that I've lived in in Brazil. So I decided to film a little tour for you guys, a little like first person point of view of what the houses here in the US are like. So today we're gonna practice our listening like always, and we're gonna learn a ton of house related vocab. And you might be surprised about some of the things we find, some of the differences between a house in Brazil and a house in the US. So let's get started. All right, and here we are, the little, entryway oh take off your shoes and first we have the dining room here um, i've kind of taken over the dining room with all my gear and crap so normally it looks nice this is usually where people uh dine <laughs> imagine that and sort of the first thing that catches your eye is this beautiful living room look at that giant sectional couch here room for the whole family and uh, also really nice hardwood floors fantastic much better than carpet giant windows that's great get that natural light in here please and uh yeah just a really nice place to sit down and relax so we've got a lovely fireplace you may be wondering, Scott, where are those stick things that people in horror movies always use as, as weapons? Well, we don't need those fire pokers here because this is a completely automatic fireplace. Boom, fireplace on, fireplace off, fireplace on. Uh, in all good American homes, you need signage saying live, laugh, and love. Now, I can't find the live anywhere, but I'm, I'm sure it's here somewhere in the house. Why do we all need signs that say live, laugh, love? Uh, I don't know, because otherwise you forget what to do when you're at your home. But now I know. <laughs> you gotta laugh, gotta love. Oh, the live part, that's important. What if I forget? And then one thing I really like is that it's open. Like it goes right from the living room, boom, back into the beautiful kitchen. Nice little stools. You can just sit up here right at the counter. That's where I've been sitting. Uh, so this is called the island, the kitchen island, because it's like an island in the sea of kitchen. The, the kitchen sea. Uh, dishwasher, of course. because nobody wants to wash dishes by hand. Are you kidding me? I, I swear I'm gonna clean those. I just, I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm going to, don't worry, Robert. Um, so we do have a gas stove. You know, some people have electric stoves, but I guess gas is, you know, coming back into, into style. So really beautiful, nice gas stove. Love it. So this is kind of interesting. Um, usually the oven and the stove would be together or in a lot of houses, that's how it is. But here we've got the oven, uh, electric oven, and we've got the microwave above it. And then you control everything up here with this touch display. It's all very fancy. And then the refrigerator. Oh. It truly is a glorious refrigerator. So first of all, <laughs> classic American refrigerator. You gotta have a million pictures and magnets and you know, like there's Victoria and her best friend and <laughs> there's a lot of people on this refrigerator, but I don't see any pictures of me. That's, <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> That's interesting that you would have so many pictures of so many different people, but not a single picture of your your best friend. That's um that's awkward. Yeah, this is awkward now. Oh, look at these cute little magnets. Oh, it's almond milk, little condiments. Oh, that is cute. Oh, crystal light lemonade. Look at that. Little donuts? Oh my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> I like that, dude. I like the magnets. Those are cute. Oh, here we go. Mac and cheese, baby. You gotta represent the mac and cheese. That is so cute, dude. Little magnet? Come on. That's amazing. Oh, and dude, you have to check this out. So, open the fridge. Normal. But you can also just open this part. What? <laughs> So sick. Just get a little peek. You know, you don't have to open the whole thing if you know what you want. I know what I want. I want this. Yes. So I need to come into the cupboard or cabinet, whichever you prefer. Get a glass. Come on over here to the refrigerator. Get some ice. Dude, do I want cubed ice or crushed ice? I think I want crushed ice, please. Look at that, dude. The refrigerator crushes your ice for you, bro. Cheers. What else? What else do we have in the kitchen? So you guys saw that there's a dining room, but we also have to have the kitchen table, you know, for casual meals, for breakfast, whatever. And then the dining room is for, uh, for dining. And dude, look at this adorable little toaster. That's so cute. Look at that color, it's all retro. I love that. Look at this. Look how stylish this kitchen is, man. This is a good kitchen. You know what I should have done? I should have made another cooking video in here. Like, you know, I had the cookies video, I should have made another video, but now it's too late because I didn't prepare. And that's the only recipe I know is cookies. Let's move along. Oh wait, the pantry. Check that out. Ooh, safety first, fire extinguisher. And uh, you know, just some classic stuff, dude. This is what I had yesterday. That was my dinner yesterday. A little ramen. Um, oh, you have to have cereal. Obviously you have to have cereal. You guys already know what it is. Little LCs, some Lucky Charms. Yes, please. The broom for sweeping. And then look, this is kind of, uh, this is Brazilian actually, right? You gotta keep the plastic bags, plastic bags, because they're just so versatile. You can use them as so many different things. So that's the pantry and some more signage. It's so good to be home. It is, dude, I agree. All right, so that was a lot, but it was still just the living room in the kitchen. There's still a few more things on the main floor that we have to see and learn about before we hit the basement. Let's check it out. Sorry, <laughs> I almost forgot. I have like, I have two things I need to do. Feed the cats and feed the fish. And I almost forgot about one of those things. No, <laughs> so would not try those. Check it out. They love these little fish flakes. Maybe I put too much. That's a lot. Dang, that's a lot, dude. Dude, come get it. Come eat it, guys. Oh, look at little SpongeBob's house. Little SpongeBob. Yeah. And now we can continue. So this is actually the front door here. Got the front yard. We'll check that out later. Front door. Boop. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, and then you've got the little, like, guest bathroom in here. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, you have to have the scented candle, of course. What a winter candy apple. That smells pretty good. Here, try that. It's pretty good. It's subtle, you know. I love the little plants. Very nice. And I love this window at the top, bro. Just get a little blue sky in your day. And look at that bathroom. Look at that tile. That's super classy. I love it. Tile on the floor. Bing, bang, boom. Very nice. Uh, in here, that's just a little like home office. Okay, fine. 
nice, dude. So, yeah, little area for the cat, home office, I love it. Uh, giant windows everywhere, so sick. And now we're starting to see the carpet, you know? Don't worry. <laughs> okay, Robert and Vicky, check these out. These are my inside slippers, okay? They're clean. I've never worn these outside, so don't worry. <laughs> they are cleaner than my socks, probably. So that's the home office, that's the bathroom. Ooh, this is, uh, this is interesting, actually. <laughs> what does an American home cleaning closet look like? Uh, it looks like this, bro. This right here, this is a necessity. This is your Swiffer, okay? So you put like a little scrubbing like sponge on the bottom, and that's how you clean these hardwood floors, dude. So you've got all the basic necessities. You've got your bleach and your uh, whatever. A lot of like candles and soaps. Uh, cleaner for the carpet, important. Extra light bulbs, nice. Yeah, that's it, see? We, we do clean our houses, okay? It's just a little bit different from cleaning in Brazil. We just throw a bunch of water and soap on the floor, <laughs> right? That's how it's done. That's how I always did it anyway. And now we're back at the uh, like garage entrance. See, that's where you leave your shoes. Oh my gosh, dude, giant washer and dryer. Wow, that's excessive. Very nice, dude. Little cat food area, sweet. <laughs> cat food in there. All right, and the master bathroom. So this is cool, little separate toilet area. Love that, hey, where's the light, <laughs> my guy? Here it is. Oh, found the light. All right, so yeah, this door, you know, goes into the <laughs> the master bedroom. There's me, hi. Um, and then classic setup. You got the his, actually his and her sinks. Um, you've got my hair product that I left out. Gotta make sure the hair is looking, <laughs> looking good. So anyway, uh, yeah, separate bathtub and shower. Nice, nice, windows everywhere. And then we've got the big old walk-in closet. Look at all this, look at all that space. This, <laughs> this is like a room, bro. This is, you could put a bed in here and rent this out as a room. It would just be pretty weird because it's attached to your bathroom. So maybe not a good idea, but you could, you could. All right, and now we're done with the main floor. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, you find it helpful, dude, give me a little thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Okay, but now it's time for the best part. Let's go take a look at Robert's very nice and very American basement. Let's go. All right, dude, as you can see, Spacious basement, dude. Air hockey table. I usually win. <laughs> Between me and Robert, I, I usually win. So look at this, dude. My boy's got an entire bar in his basement, bro. Mini fridge, come on. Ooh, I haven't had this in a while. This is good, I'm gonna have some of this. I'm gonna have one of those, for sure. Bro, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Get yourself a rich best friend, okay? It comes with perks, all right? We've also got the giant 85-inch TV. Oh, look at that. Another giant couch. And the view, bro. Oh, yeah. The view. Oh, there's a, there's Believe. It's not exactly Live, but it's pretty close. Maybe they don't have Live. Believe, Laugh, Love. That's pretty good, too. Um, and my boy's got the PlayStation 4. <laughs> my man, we need to upgrade you to the PS5 because if you have a PS5, it's like, it's like I have a PS5. Christmas is coming up, you know, tell your wife. I need to get Scott and Robert, I mean, just Robert, a PS5. Let's do it. So yeah, this is, this is it. This is the chill section. You've got the bar. You've got the giant TV in PS4, but that's not all, man. The basement keeps going. So you've got another full bathroom, shower and all. Look at those cute decorations, man. 
which is well decorated all around. Whoop. And look at this, dude. My boy has a gym set up down here. Yeah, he's got an entire workout station. You got some equipment, you got the whiteboard, right down the workouts. You got the bench, you got the pull up bar. This is fantastic. So this type of basement, this might look a little bit more familiar to you. This is what a lot of basements in the US look like. Just like bare bones, unfinished. So they decided to do just one section unfinished because it makes for like a really good workout room. You know, you can do whatever you want in here. It's pretty sick. Good thinking. Linen closet, you know, store your pillows and blankets and, uh, and SpongeBob, the complete second season. Yes, please. Guest bedroom. This is Robert's little office area. I have no idea what's behind this door. I have not opened it. So if it's unlocked, let's take a look. I, I swear to God, I have no idea what's in here. I'm totally kidding. There was nothing scary in there. No dead bodies or anything. Just the hot water heater. Pretty standard in any American home. That's how everybody heats their water. All right, guys, that was kind of a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it. There's a ton of good vocab in there, and this is great listening practice. Remember, in a few days, there's gonna be another Christmas-themed video. Me and my girlfriend, we're gonna make something kind of special for you guys. So stay tuned for that one. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.